guys. Um, this is the general reading for Capricorn. Uh, the energy is going to be for the end of December 2018 and January 2019. Um, probably just going to combine this. I mean, it's kind of a soul journey, but it's mostly a lot about love anyways. So um, I probably won't do straight up love readings or soul journey. I'm just going to combine them this month just to make sure I get everybody out. Um, so if I have time, though, I'll end up doing like separate readings. But if not, there'll probably be one reading this month for each sign. Or at least, you get what I'm saying, the one. Um, so Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, if you have significant of those uh, Capricorn in your chart, cross watchers, or um, if you're just drawn to this video, also check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any of my other videos that you're drawn to or any significant placements in your chart. Energies obviously are fluid. Um, they can be, this could be for this month or next month or, you know, it's just take it when it comes. And you may check back later and find that it resonates then. Um, some, none, or all of this may apply. Apply to your life as necessary. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Um, I can read it for you and I could be reading someone else that you're dealing with. I could be reading it as love. It could be career. Just apply it if it if it does and leave the rest. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell because I put out different types of videos. Thank you so much for those of you who have been participating. And also um, participate with services and donations. I know people have asked about um, donation information and in the description box below it tells all about my services my PayPal link for donations and everything um, so read all the way through it uh, a lot of people find my email and then email me don't read all the way through it and I'm always down like I'll help anybody uh, but it'll save me time but if you do need help then then email me um, and the donations are obviously um, appreciated they any money that I get through services, donation, or anything like that goes goes towards my further healing, um, and then to give back. And in the summer, I'll be going and doing like learning plant spirit medicine to be able to further heal myself, and then also um, heal like this, even through distant. To I'll be able to give back. So all of that is going towards that. Um, also, I, I'll be doing a video on this, but I did a video already also in November, but because November and December were difficult for me and there was a lot going on, I wasn't able to get a lot of videos out. Um, I'm going to be extending this special until including January, where if you buy a live reading from me, um, it comes with it. A live reading at full price, um, like the normal price. And it comes with it a free 25 to 30 minute um, Reiki, like Holy Fire Reiki session, Archangel Therapy session, or Access Consciousness Bar session. Um, that's like a $44, $44 value. And I also light a, a candle of intention to help uh, assist in move and release blocked energies and release anything that is not serving your highest good um so there's that deal and then also for but you have to pay in December of 2018 or January of 2019 um also for the holidays I'll also be for December or January um normally it's 10% off two two services or more I will be doing 10% off one sir just once even one service um, so any of my services, 10% off. However, you can't combine offers. So you can't do like that December deal and then the 10%. Um, but if you have any questions, just email me. But I figured I'd do that for the holidays for when people are tied on cash or if they want to gift it or whatever you want to use it for. Um, is there anything else? I don't know if I think of it, I'll, I'll, I'll say it throughout the video. But please like, share, comment, and subscribe, um, and hit the bell. So, Capricorns, um, this is a pretty, I want to say transformative energy for you. Um, but 
it's not necessarily going to be that way. It's really up to you what you do with it. It's also a very slightly, I want to say, I don't, I don't know if it's confusing. Like, I don't know if you guys are confused. I definitely think there's things you're not seeing. Um, but I also think maybe that's because some people are either indulging in a lot of things or they're distracting themselves so that they don't, they don't see it. Like, I just feel like it's sort of locked off and it kind of took me a while to see things. And I don't even know if I fully see it. Like sometimes once I get channeling, you know, it, it, it's different, but, um, this is something that seems like it's very uncomfortable and it's going to be very uncomfortable, but depending on your perspective and you allowing to see things and using your magician energy in a positive way, it could really transform beautifully for you. And that's really actually I feel what it's there for um in your central position you're at the ten of wands and in this one you either are going to be or you have just really released all the burdens you've been carrying and there's just one and I don't know if that's just yourself um but you've just dropped it all. You're kind of in like self-preservation mode, I think. And you're just looking at everything you dropped, everything you'd been carrying, what all it meant, why it was there, why did you carry it? You're just very much in a self self-reflective mode on it, which is also in your kind of position why you have the hermit. Um, and you're really just kind of looking at it all. And clarifying that you have the Hierophant and you know he's just sitting there writing stuff down time's running out so I don't know if it's of you learning your lesson but I think it's you kind of making plans and noting things um but you know that things are going to be changing like you know time is running out of a certain situation and you either have already released all those burdens or you know you're going to be doing that soon. Um, what's crossing you, and I think this was the part at first that kind of gave me the most trouble. Um, you have the Page of Cups and you have the Moon. And you have the Nine of Wands. And I really feel that this is either you leaving a situation or somebody else leaving you. And so flip this as necessary. I'm going to read it as somebody is leaving you. And of course, like I said, flip this as necessary. Okay. Just to make it easier, I'm going to read it one way. Um, but, and it, I mean, it could be, I don't want to say an immature love or whatever, but may not be a, a very mature showing of it, but you know, you lost the fish, you know, it, it went away and I think this is bringing up a lot of things, a lot of emotions, a lot of insecurities, a lot of subconscious things, um, maybe even, you know, darker as far as heavier, like heavier energies. I mean, really having to look within yourself and see yourself um a lot of habits uh i do get a lot of even um kind of negative excessive things not negative like bad like i don't want to put a good bad on it but um possibly even like alcohol drug use maybe even sex partying um it could even be overworking 
really anything that was just distracting you from seeing this situation, seeing things within yourself, um, and really just facing these emotions and all these things inside that you didn't want to see. Um, and the moon very much could be also about like, you know, drug use. Um, there could be like mental illness type stuff, or at the very least, this situation is causing a type of, um, mental instability situation, or maybe if you are drinking a lot or, or doing drugs or something, then that is as well. Um, and it really kind of puts you through a lot, but you, you still end up persevering through it. Um, but in this card, it's like somebody else comes and is standing there with you and you're like, I don't know, it just surprises you. Um, that somebody else is there and it's like, you could see the battle. I don't know if you can really see it on him and his arms. Like he's got a bunch of abrasions and so does this person. Like they're either weathering the storm with you or they've been through their own too. So, you know, they understand, but it kind of catches you a little off guard. Like you definitely weren't, um, expecting it. But I feel like somebody moved away from you or was like enough, kind of. Like it just. I do also think too that this other person in this Nine of Wands, you know, could be seeing that other part of yourself as well. Um, I, I do think a lot of this, it could be another person that ends up coming to and assisting you, um, either fighting with you, you meet someone else who's fighting the fight too, or they're assisting you. But I do get very, very much that this is also an internal part to you that you, are now seeing that other part of yourself. The part that brings you the confliction, the issues, the opposition in your own mind, in your own emotions, like in everything. And, 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 and it really makes sense too, because it's like, you know, this person walking up in this moon card, like both these, I don't know if they're like wolves, coyotes, I don't know what they are. They're, like, not chilling like the person normally walking up. Like, they're, like, in almost straight-up defense attack mode. It's almost like when this person leaves, or this th thing leaves, person, situation, event, whatever, it brings up a side of you, like a shadow side of you that you either didn't want to see or had never seen before. And through the hard stuff that you go through, that you pers like spiritually persevere through, you end up realizing that that other person that you kind of ran from for so long um, is really, they're an ally. Because now that you see them and now that you see what they're going through too, um, they don't really run you subconsciously. It's like you guys can be more on the same page and integrated and do this together. Um, and depending on you, how you handle this situation, You know, determines also whether or not, I think for some of you, this person comes back 
or somebody else that's meant to be in your life does. Somebody that brings you happiness and fulfillment and all of that. Um, but there's definitely, it's like a huge message that there's something you're not seeing. Like judgment comes up, um, came up quite often. And I think it's, you know, you're not seeing your stuff in your environment, but mostly it's that you're not seeing stuff within yourself. And that it's really up to you and your own actions and your own thought process on creating the happiness and the world, basically the reality that you desire. Um... In your foundation, I also look at it a lot of times as your subconscious, um, you have the two of pentacles. So I think you're really trying to honestly like stay busy and juggle a lot. Stay balanced, but that's why you're doing it. You're trying to stay balanced. You could be trying to make a decision, but... I get that you're really trying to stay balanced and you're really juggling a lot because there's things you don't, you don't want to see. Well, I don't know whether, I think you're subconsciously doing that, um, which actually conflicts your conscious. Your conscious is kind of like you are trying to look within, but your subconscious is there's other things ruling you that's making it to where you don't want to see. And that's, that's this person. This is a part of you that's coming up. That This is your other part that you're scared of. And this is part of you coming up. Which is nothing to be scared of. But this, these two parts are you. And I do think that, you know, you have the Nine of Cups. Like, this person looks kind of like drunk or intoxicated. And then you have the hangman, like this person, this, this is a dangerous situation. This isn't just your typical hanged man position. This is somebody who's like underwater to like normally be in an uncomfortable position just to see things differently. But it's almost like this one's putting himself in a really dangerous situation where like he'll die under the water. I guess he's seeing the perspective of the fish, but, um... I feel like this is going on because you actually don't want to see. Or you, you feel like you can't handle it. Like I get a very, between these and your recent past cards and the moon card and everything, like I get just a very big indication that um, either you as the Capricorn or the other person has issues of really overindulging in substance, something, whether it's substance abuse, uh, whether it's work. I mean, it could just really honestly be anything that, you know, distracts you or manipulates your own mind emotionally. In your recent past, um, you have... The Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So again, I get with this, I mean, you could have went from family or committed situation to single, but I also get like a party incense with this. Party, party, overindulging. like, And it's because of the Five of Cups, like a loss and I think you're hiding your own emotions, like in this Five of Cups, um, like this little phase, like actually even smirking about it. So it's either you're finding the good in the situation, which I don't really get at this moment. I get that you're trying to act like it doesn't bother you. And part of you probably thinks it even doesn't, but your subconscious is you're, you're trying not to see things. I mean, maybe you even think it doesn't bother you. 
it, what's crowning you is the hermit. So you're trying to find your path, look within, uh, clarifying that you have the death card. And this is very much about pain, like a chess game. So, you know, there's an ending of this, a, a cycle and you're really trying to go within and either see where your path is, your true path, what's going to make you happy or really strategize. I'm not sure if you're strategizing for your new path or if you're really like trying to listen. You probably are trying to look for your new path and which way to go, but because you're not listening to your emotions and you're hiding from them right now, you're probably having to strategize. I'm not sure if you can even hear your intuition at this point. Maybe. I don't know. I think you're trying not to listen to it. I mean, the moon is also about intuition. And if she's the one coming in to bring it to you and you're kind of fighting and resisting it. Um, in your likely future, you have the two of wands. Clarifying that you have the tower. And then I'll, I wanted to see more about what the tower actually meant. And it was the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Um, It could be also, too, that it's the end of um, <coughs> stagnancy. And because, you know, you've kind of been halted in trying to figure out and strategize exactly what to do so even if you've been moving it's very slow to either you're not you're not moving or it's very slow because you're trying to make sure that you go in the right decision and do the best thing for you you're really trying to strategize and calculate what you do and you end up like doing whatever to mentally move forward and that brings in the tower I guess maybe on this union to where then you move on to new opportunities and move on from being stuck. Whether that's literally or figuratively, metaphorically, whatever. Um, in how you see yourself, you have the nine of swords reversed. And you have the Three of Wands. And then clarifying that, you have the Wheel and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so, like, again, you, like, you think you're hot, you think you're good. You, I mean, maybe you are, but you're like, no, I'm not anxious at all about this. I'm excited about these new beginnings and these new opportunities that are growing. I'm excited about what's in front of me. And you're really just trying to either end patterns in your life or like change things. Like you're trying to make things better and happier for yourself 
and you want to work on and create a new beginning, things that are of interest to you. You want to work on that. I asked on what you are working on and what you are excited about. And um, there's like the rat and the stump and then the hag and the girl under that. So it's like removing a, a traitor or a, a bad person from your environment. So this could be that you are seeing this person in this way whether it's projecting or not, and you're like, I mean, they're making their life, it sucks, so you want to remove them. Or you have some bad qualities to yourself, some bad um, patterns that you really want to work on removing. So it could either you want to remove this other person or you want to remove these qualities, these traits within yourself. Um, what's in your environment is you have the Queen of Wands and you have the Two of Swords. Clarifying that you have the justice card. So. Um, I mean this queen of wands could be you. And, and shut off. But this queen of wands. It could be guy or girl. Doesn't matter. Um, could be in your environment. And they're either trying to make a decision or they're, they're blocked off. Like they're done. They see the truth. They see the light about things and they want some type of justice, which could be like them not wanting, probably not them not want to be with you. Cause I think I'm guessing they're the fish that's jumping out of the cup to where they don't want to be with you. Um, there might even be a chance that, you know, it's between you and somebody else. Like instead of get out, getting out of the relationship and healing and doing their stuff first, that they started talking to someone else first. Maybe. I don't know. That doesn't have to apply for everybody. Where they're making like the men duke it out or the women duke it out. However it applies for you. How they see you like the environment sees you basically is the 10 of pentacles and clarifying that is you have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords. So, I mean, for one, I think you're really focused on your money and work. Like, a lot. There's a lot. I mean, it's very strong that that's what you're doing. And it's also to not see this situation. Like, you're about this relationship with the two of cups someone offering their love the other one not having a, a cup to give back and not accepting the cup that's being given and then they're just like daydreaming and their focus is about not about their own cup but you know something else probably about that the love isn't there then it causes the three of swords so you're all about work like, let me find the things that make me happy. That can also probably get me out of this situation. Or, um, I mean, there's a kid in there too. So you may be like, I've got to like work really hard because I might have to pay some child support. But I think a lot of it is to distract yourself too. In your hopes and fears... Sorry if I'm tired. I'm trying to get this out. Um, in your hopes and fears, you have the Ace of Pentacles and you have the Queen of Pentacles.
So definitely wanting a new beginning, possibly money, uh, maybe an even with another earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But at the very least, it's like, you know, you have your eyes set on it. And it, it could be financial. It probably is financial at the very least. I mean, it could be multiple things, but I get a, a big sense about like work, like working a lot. And, you know, clarifying that you have the emperor. So I feel like you're like removing yourself from all other things. You don't really want to see the truth. You don't really want to grow like his little Pegasus ego right there. I see this, the truth and the ego. And not really wanting to do any of that. Just wanting to remove himself, herself, whatever, from any other situation. And just really work, build, grow, get back control and I think you see your finances as a way of stability and control for yourself. In your likely outcome, you have the Seven of Cups. And this is weird because you have 777. Seven, seven. Um, so, like, you're really being guided through this. Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands and the Chariot. And clarifying all of that, you have the World card. So the end of this cycle, moving on from it, clarifying the Chariot. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Justice. So I think there's a lot of uh, possibly needing to get money, but, you know, greed, conflict, um, battling, having to defend the self, like, it's probably a lot with court going on there too, uh, maybe even traveling for that, but between like the seven of cups and the person trying to get like all the money the defending themselves with the seven of wands and the justice card, the world, like five of pentacles. Um, it very much could be about, you know, having to deal with court, but either way, moving forward out of a cycle. Um, and this is going to be probably a difficult situation, but if you allow to use this energy properly, it's going to be something that helps you grow and helps your perspective change to where it actually benefits you. Um, and so here's like the magician and the queen of cups, but really about looking at your magician energy. Like, what are you focusing on? What are you manifesting? Like, what exactly are you doing? And knowing that it's all within you. Like, there's a huge part of this situation that you're either causing, contributing to, or whatever. And uh, the Six of Cups is a big, I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles is a big card that wants to keep coming up for you. It came up twice and wanted to come up another time. But there's definitely an ending to the cycle. The Knight of Swords, the World, the Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit, Eight of Cups, Four of Cups. So I definitely think that, you know, there's something internally going on with you as well. I think this person probably is marrying you, but you're really going to have to look at how you're, how you're contributing to things. An even give and take, wanting to give a reciprocal amount of energy. What does that person want for you, from you? What do you want from them? And being able to have that even exchange with it and wanting to do so. Um, I really think for a lot of Capricorns right now, though, you guys are really working on like growing your, um, yourself possibly, but I think more like your abundance, your money, you're really focused on money, whether it's you having to take care of your kids, yourself, uh, child support, just wanting to grow because right now it looks like you're just really not focusing on love. There's been a lot of kind of 
rough energies, endings of cycles, possibly ending of commitments in some way, going off on your own venture, being single, going within, seeing what you want, leaving the things that aren't working for you or serving you, and any other offers, um, you're probably not even taking any, especially not with love or anything emotional. You're probably really just focusing on finances right now. Um, but it's really asking you to look at the magician within you and see what you're going towards. You can't always just focus on money and you can't. There's some lesson that you guys as Capricorns are missing, and I feel like you guys have been missing it for a little while now. Um, you know, and you have new beginnings for you. You're kind of now not trying to get committed into anything, and um, maybe this will lead you on some type of spiritual or enlightenment type path, and just going kind of where you need to be at the moment, I guess. Um... But you're definitely on a new beginning. There's endings of cycles. You have I am Kali from death comes rebirth. Which is about, you know, obviously endings of cycles and beginnings of new ones. But let me just get this one. Um... Working with Kali is extremely powerful, but it is work we all do and all must do. If you have drawn this card, you are working with the energy of the fire of the dancing mother goddess who will teach you how to go through the change you have been resisting and feeling was too much and who will purify and change everything. You must not stay with this energy. Movement is essential for working with her and her fierce nature is in fact a test of your own strength. Can you do what needs to be done and still dance? Can you rejoice in the purification of stale energy? Can you walk forward without hesitating? Can you say yes to what will come for you on the other side of Kali's fire? And you will wear your lessons proudly as she does her necklace and know that this death is an incarnation within an incarnation and a new life within this lifetime born of fire. Which is exactly what I was saying that something comes like after this, after all this stuff you go through. And I don't think it's just, so for some of you it's going to be just you know, you finding you, but for some it's going to be finding you, but it's also going to be either this person or situation coming back possibly in a better form or something else that was unexpected. Like something unexpected, I feel, comes from it. Um, and then you have Shipwreck Siren, which is about... So the poem says, sing to me, siren, of those lustfully depraved, of gluttony, excitement, and vanity displayed. Sing to me, siren, of excess and greed, of slothful indulgence and heavy mead. Sing to me, siren, of debauchery and fame, of riches and shiny things, I'll stand fast yet again. Soon your willpower will be tested and you will have to employ great discipline to make it through the rough seas ahead. Just like Ulysses, Ulysses, when tested by the siren song, you shall have to steel yourself again against great temptation. This is the time to prove the world that you are made of stronger stuff and can withstand whatever is thrown your way. Maintain a strict schedule, moderate your consumptions, curb your appetites, and be prepared to be tested when you least expect it. Take some time to contemplate the vices you are most susceptible to and where you might be weak. If you maintain discipline, focus, and dedication to your goals and ideas, you will sail through tough times with your head held high and you will be stronger and healthier be person because of it. Um, so not only are you going to be tested in how you react with all this, but looking at your mentality at the same time, I really get a lot of this magician vibe. It's a lot about the mentality. Um, you're going to be going through this hard time where, you know, it's kind of this darker, envious behavior. There's a transformation that's going to be happening where you're really going to have to see yourself a lot with like this moon card. And if you allow it to and you work this on a positive note, it will end with the angel of love. So not only will love possibly come your way, but at least this is you. This is you being more balanced. This is you having a healthier kind of heart chakra and just being more open to giving and receiving. There is a closing off here, exactly like what's behind it. 
there's a closing off here that is going on right now, I think with a lot of Capricorns, and maybe it's all the lessons you guys go through, but where this isn't really quite even give and take because there's almost a, a stone or a reserved nature um, because of this going on. There's a lot of you, I'm, I'm getting the sense too of um, just a lot of indulging, whether like I said, it's sex, drugs, alcohol, um, eating, lying, overworking, just not being real and not seeing what's going on. There's not a balance going on here. Like these cards combined is not a good energy. Like this one by itself could be a good energy, but all of these, like these two might even be a good energy, but with all this in it, there's some thing behind all this. You're trying to go for control. You're trying to go for balance. You're trying to go for even give and take. You're trying to go for happiness and building and structure and all of that. That's, that's great and all, but this is the energy behind it. There's something you're not seeing. Which this is your own cards. <laughs> now that I think about it. So sub lesson Saturn energy that you're not seeing. There's something about yourself and about your environment that you're not seeing here. If you need help with this, hit me up. Um to where maybe I can help you dig into this deeper because it's hard to do in a general reading, but where I can dig in and see exactly what it is that's being missed. But there's some wound. I mean, under that, you have the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Star, Knight of Swords, Justice. There's some wound that needs to come to light that is affecting things. And it's affecting, this is like basically a magician energy. Like where you guys are taking action, where you guys are putting your energies. Um, this four of wands energy that you want, this balance, this celebration, this coming together, you can have this. You just either have to be real about what you really want, or you have to get real about the actions you're taking to get there. But there's an internal struggle going on. I mean, you know, I don't know if I showed this already, but there's the judgment, you know, this technically is the four of wands, participation, fighting, there's fighting, but also an internal dialogue, three of cups, celebration, 10 of pentacles, we are the world. So having the 10 of pentacles, which is where you are, how you're seeing what you want, but it's like, you're the, you're the block to what you want. By either how you're participating or what's going on in your head, whatever this block is. Um, and I think you're really having to see that and even go through some uncomfortable things. I mean, there's probably a large part of you because I get for a lot of you, there is a split going on here. Um, I mean, you're going to have to learn this and it's almost like you're going to have to not relearn how to live again, but like I heard the song that I felt really applied to this yesterday by Garth Brooks called learning to live again. And it was like saying like learning to live again is killing me. Um, and it's because you're having to start over. either because of having had recently learned a lesson or because you're having to still learn a lesson and you know, where you're moving forward. Like you're just, you feel all tied up, stuck, happy family, having the courage to walk away from, I don't know, either from or to a caring connection or some type of connection you have an indecision about what you're trying to do and you're trying to strategize, but you're all up in your head about it. What makes you happy? You've got some like root chakra issues, root, sacral, and solar plexus. Yeah. You're like, you don't know. 
what victory really looks like. And also, maybe some of you are having a hard time ending this or giving up on it because you've worked so hard into it. Like, maybe this other person doesn't have as much of a hard time with it, but for you, you have. Like, you're not happy in it either, possibly, but um, either they're staying in it and blocked off from you or you're just trying to work, work, work. Maybe you're not just working on work. Like maybe you keep trying to work on this too because you can't let it go. Maybe with even what it means to you, what societal it means to you. That's why Hierophant maybe keeps coming up too because can you release a lot of those beliefs you held? Can you, believe, can you release what you found as successful? Can you release something that you felt like you've put so much work into it and it didn't, it didn't get you what you wanted from it? what your mind saw from it, which is also the devil energy being very codependent on all of it and the expectation and being willing to sacrifice yourself and your own energy and your own happiness just to keep that going because you can't derail off the trail and, and start something new and with new ideas. You're really stuck on this. Like just where you're putting all your energy at is... Um, it's just not great. And there's going to be a test really to come and show you that. And I know you guys are all like, well, we always have the test. We always have the lessons. Maybe you guys do because you guys are having a hard time seeing stuff too, though. I mean, I mean, you guys are ruled by Saturn, so I'm sure you feel it stronger than other people too. But I just have felt for a while now that a lot of Saturn, or um, Capricorns are really not, they don't really are not seeing things properly. And I don't know, maybe this person is a test that's going to come in and pull away from you if that's what's going on for some of you. To see if you see your lessons and your fears and who this person really is inside of you that runs the things you do. How are you going to choose to rebuild? Because that's going to say a lot about you. Are you going to do the same thing you've always done? Or are you going to choose to rebuild differently this time? Because that's what I think a lot of the test is here. Are you going to choose to rebuild differently this time? If that's what this is, is that something's ending. Whether it's you doing it or this other person. It seems like something is being removed from your life or you realize something that you're able then to be more in alignment with it like mind body soul you know happiness is when your mind thoughts and actions are all the same thing um so hopefully you're seeing your participation in things To where either in this situation or in another one, you can actually, I don't know, do things more aligned with what you want and be honest about that. There's some transformation going where you're going from, you have the option to go from a darker energy and transform and have strength through this and come out more lighter, not as fearful, um, more compassionate, forgiving, but you're going to have to learn about yourself in order to do that. So, I don't know. It's just, are you willing to do that? And some of you might be like, yeah, I really am. But I don't know. I, Especially not with how much you're putting your head into work over here. I don't know if that's completely true. Let's look, pull card of advice for you real quick oh and then you have your animal spirit card let's see if i can wrap this up 
two or three cards of advice, and then we'll pull an animal spirit card for you real quick. And then, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, but if you have, if you need any help with this, hit me up for my services, um, anything for donations, services, um, email contact, you can always comment too, but, um, my email, my PayPal, everything's in the description box below. So, um, check that out, but please like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell because I put out different videos. Please give me two or three cards of advice. Capricorn. Oh. Again, I think you have the magician and the chariot. So you guys really might be dealing with a cancer too. I don't know, or dealing with like a cancer energy of knowing that balance of opening up versus closing off. Maybe there's an emotional balance that's needed. You have the nine of wands again, endurance the Magician, Impulsive Life, and the Queen of Cups Reflective, which is where you're sitting in your headspace, the Chariot, Motion, Loss, Speak, Advance. Really looking on working together and evolving and balance, healing, working with people. Um, keep faith during this process. Just please don't shut down. Okay? Um... Just go through your lessons, learn, be self-reflective, focus on what actions you're taking, where your focus is energetically, why are you taking those actions, why are you focusing on those things, what are they serving for you, what do they say about you, what do you want, look at, what do I want, what are my goals, what are my actions, do those actions align with my goals, if not, what actions will align with my goals, you know, re, you know, change it out, but don't emotionally shut down. If you need to for a minute to go in self-reflective stage, then go do it. But you can't like never be in something that's significant or emotional to you. And then you can't not learn your lesson and just keep repeating it. There's really something you're missing. And because this is general, it's really hard to narrow this down. But there's some type of loss and hurt and wound that you're holding on to. And it's, Moving on from that, it's healing from it, moving on from it, from this loss, and a lot and allow, allowing all of you, mind, body, and soul, to be aligned. But there's something you've got to work through that you guys are not just taking your lessons and letting the rest go. Can I get any information on what is being held on to? Any? No, they're just giving me the Six of Swords, which is mentally moving on. But I also get with this particular card that this is like a society, the norms, the higher fit type stuff, tradition, routine, orthodox, and rising above that. Um, something from either your childhood, uh, uh, something that happened sometime in the past, or just the traditions and mind frame and thinking that you were born with. There's something for you to ascend and grow and move beyond. So please hit me up if you guys need help with this. Um, because I feel like there's Capricorns that are really stuck. And I don't want you guys to get stuck in kind of that, you know, kind of mind frame. Because I know a lot of, I don't know if I'm saying Saturns or not, Capricorns. I know they're getting tired of a lot of lessons and I can't promise they won't come, but what will make it easier where they kind of just flow better is when you're able to just more easily flow through them. And the only thing that's going to stop that is going to be, you know, you being rigid and fearful and trying to just lock down. Um, and if you're like, no, I took a chance though. Yeah, but are you seeing a lesson that makes you keep being attracted to the same things? What do you keep being attracted to and what are you stuck on right now? Like what are you in a relationship that you don't want to be in or isn't what's best for you, but it's what you invested so long or it's just bringing you heartache though. You're not growing and. The only way you're choosing to grow now is you're like, screw it, I'll focus on my money, which is good for a minute, but you can't always do that, you know? So, 
feel like this is more scattered than normal, but... 16, Raven is magic. Yeah, like the Void of the Darkness. What's the other one? Let me read this real quick. Prairie Dog is Retreat. So throughout time, Raven has carried the medicine. I don't know if I can get this done in time. Of magic. This has been true in many cultures across the planet. It is sacred in the me in a medicine ways to honor Raven as the bringer of magic. If the magic is bad, is bad medicine, the carrier may be honored out of fear rather than out of respect. Those who fear Raven may do so because they have been dabbling in areas in which they have no knowledge and a spell may have backfired on them. Rather than analyzing the dark side of sorcery, realize that you will feel Raven only if you need to learn about your inner fears and self-created demons. The Devil Card. Raven magic is a powerful medicine that can give you the courage to enter the darkness of the void, which is the home of all that is not yet in form. The void is called the great mystery. Great mystery existed before all other things came into being. Great spirit lives inside the void and emerged from the great mystery. Raven is the messenger of the void. If Raven appears in your spread, you are about to experience a change in consciousness. This may invoke walking inside the great mystery of another path at the edge of time. It could pretend a signal brought by the Raven that says you have earned the right to see and experience a little more of life's magic. Raven's color is the color of the void the black hole in space that holds all the energy of the creative source. In native teachings, the color black means many things, but it does not mean evil. Black can mean the seeker of answers, the void, or the road of the spiritual or non-physical. The blue-black of Raven contains an iridescent that speaks of the magic of darkness and a changeability of form and shape that brings an awakening in the process. Raven is the guardian of ceremonial magic and in absentia healing. In any healing circle, Raven is present. Raven guides the magic of healing and change in consciousness that will bring about a new reality and dispel dis-ease or illness. Raven brings in the new state of wellness from the void of great mystery and the field of plenty. Raven is the messenger that carries all energies flows of ceremonial magic between the ceremony itself and the intended destination. For instance, if a ceremony is being performed to send energy to a disaster area where people need courage and strength, Raven would be the courier for that energy flow. The intention would be to allow the people of a de devastated area to feel the concern and support of the participants in the ceremony. If you have chosen Raven, magic is in the air. Do not try to figure it out. You cannot. It is the power of the unknown at work and something special is about to happen. The deeper myster mystery, however is how you will respond to the sparkling synchronicity of the alchemical moment. The Magician card. Will you recognize it and use it to further enhance your growth? Can you accept it as a gift from the Great Spirit? Or will you limit the power of the Great Mystery by explaining it away? It may be time to call Raven as a courier to carry an intention, some healing energy, a thought, or a message. Raven is the patron of smoke signals or spirit messages represented by smoke, so if you want to send a message to the Blue Road of Spirit in order to contact the ancients, call Raven, or who knows, the ancients may be calling to you. Remember, this magic moment came from the void of darkness and the challenge is to bring it to light. In doing so, you will have honored the magician within. Okay, so I have one more to read and then we're done. Sorry this video is kind of choppy. For some reason I've had to... Just do a bunch of things in between. So maybe that's your energy going on right now where it's a little bit pulled away, introspective, finding out who you are, what's going on. Um, just some things that you've got to deal with, I feel like, um, internally, but also externally. And there might be a lot going on around you, which is why, you know, you might be like just pulling back, focusing on self, focusing on improvement and money. And just really trying to figure things out. I think there's some inner internal stuff that you're either trying to figure out or the energies may lead you to that. So your last one, and then we'll be done, is the prairie dog, which is about retreat. Uh, the little poem thing is prairie dog calls me when it's time to rest, when it's time to honor the internal quest. 
I go into retreat so I may see a way to replenish the potential in me. So I'll read that real quick. Um, Prairie Dog Medicine teaches that strength and inspiration can be found by retreating into the stillness that quiets the mind. The strength of this medicine is also knowing when and how to replenish your life force. Prairie Dog Medicine people tend to seek self-empowerment in silence and inactivity where they can access dreams and visions without the intrusions of worldly chaos. When they enter the world, they are profound and powerful anchors of calm resolve amid life storms. The medicine of Prairie Dog is applicable to all of the, the Marmot tribe, which includes the, the ground squirrel clan, the Glofer, Gopher clan, the Woodchuck clan, and the how, Groundhog clan. Just as Native American warriors knew when to move forward and when to become invisible, the Marmot tribe knows how and when to retreat. The prairie dog runs for the tunnels when a predator is on its trail. In the winter, it conserves energy by hibernating during the scarce time of the cold moons. If prairie dog has surfaced in your cars today, it may be a warning that your body's fuel gauge is running low. You might need a day of silence or retreat from regular activities before you become too exhausted to carry on. Have you put your basic needs at the bottom of the to-do list? Burning the candle at both ends may weaken the punch you can normally pack when tackling the tax task at hand. Take a much needed break before you crash and burn. Prairie Dog teaches you that in order to access gifts of inspiration and renewal, you must be at peace within yourself and rested enough to recognize the blessings being offered. If you have been battling a situation without gaining ground, Prairie Dog reminds you that pushing too hard can create a resistance that does not allow for interaction. Take a break. Give it a rest. After a comfortable and relaxed time, you can return with a fresh perspective. In the meantime, the dynamics of the situation may have changed because your retreat allows the present situation to work itself out. There is ample strength available if you quit pushing and go with the flow. Prairie Dog says its tunnels run both ways. Now it's time to choose the backdoor exit for some rest and relaxation. And here's Prairie Dog in case. I don't know if I showed him to you or not. So I love you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a good Christmas or had a good Christmas. Um, Happy New Year. Um... Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, you can either email me or in the comments. Like, leave a comment. Let me know what or if some of you guys are going through and having difficult with, difficulties with this. Don't forget about my special where you can either pay full price for the live reading and get the free energy session, um, the 25-30 minute energy session, or just 10 or or 10 percent off. You know any of my services. If you pay within December or January, December 2018, January 2019. Um, yeah. So yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope all's going well. I really love you guys. Um, I think that's it. I'm drawing a blank. Um, keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And um. Let me know if you guys need anything. Check out the um, my information in the description box below. Email address, PayPal information, services, all of that. I love you guys. Bye.